Hello, this is Katie. Welcome back to my channel. This is my very first Freestyle Friday. I'm going to be making a memory decks card thing. These are uh, dies from Heidi Swap. They, they're not the greatest quality dies, but they do a good enough job. That was a, um, a thicker piece of cardstock and then the thinner piece of cardstock cut a little better. It's from the Summertime Fun 12 by 12 pad by Recollections from Michaels. So I usually cut out a base card and then the decorative piece just to make it a little bit thicker. So I'm just going to run my tape runner, which is misbehaving and being loose over the whole back side of that. And then line this up or match it up the best I can while scraping off some of the die remnants. The memory decks cards are just interesting to me. It's kind of like um like the artist trading cards, the ATCs. It's like I think those are two and a half by three and a half or three. Um I also have these uh simple stories flower pieces, so I'm gonna pull these out. I thought they looked a little bit like my sweatshirt I'm wearing. Um I like to make these when I I'm just not in the mood for a card. For uh Freestyle Friday, it won't necessarily not be a card. It'll just not have any rules like Marker Monday or Watercolor Wednesday where I want to focus on markers or watercoloring. But uh, I just felt like making a memory decks this time, but it could be anything. The bird was a little too big, so I set him aside. So I'm just trying to keep with like the pink theme, but then I throw in something at the end, which isn't pink, which finishes off. So I kind of like that. Um... So I'm just using my Stampin' Dimensionals that I've just been using up to lift this up. The thing I had trimmed off, it was kind of weird. On this die cut piece, it almost looked like there was an errant little um, scribble that wasn't supposed to be there. And their die cut machine thought it was something. So it cut around it. Um, so I just cut that off. Because I could tell it wasn't supposed to be there. So I trimmed it. And then this stuff, I think I got this, I either got this from someone, I think I got it from someone in some happy mail. And it's very messy when you cut it because the gold pieces go everywhere. Um, so I'm also trying to clean those up too. So I have the sticky dimensionals, the little foam pieces on there, but I know that it's going to take more to hold this down so I'm just adding glue to all of it on the back side and then I'm going to end up holding this down for a little while this is all sped up uh, times two but I'm going to hold it down and press it down the glue dries pretty quickly I just want to make sure that um, that's all down there and then we're going to be using my new favorite Oliver's Stitched ABCs these are awesome they can jazz up any card. I decided to put that in the upper left corner. But they also match with the letters. Um, I have two of the newer dies that Lawn Fawn has done where it's like a foldy pop-up thing on the inside of the card. I think they just came out with like Happy Birthday or something. I can't remember. I think I got Hello and Happy Birthday. I'm not sure. I'm not very good at it. Um, but these letters match up with those. So if you wanted to add different colored letters on top of it on the pop-up inside the card than you could. And I'm trimming down this E, so you should be able to tell that it says love, um, but I'm trimming it down so that, because I've already put the flower down. So I'm just hiding the E behind there, but now I've cut him in half. So hopefully you can still get the idea that that says love. Um, so I'm loving those letters. The dies are great and I've used them quite a bit already. And I really like that for pairing a word with um, with the dies. Just gonna go ahead and uh, scribble something out there real quick. Um, when you're pairing like a scripty stamp word with the letter dies, um, it looks really cool. Or other word dies from Lawn Fawn, like if you were to do happy and then their birthday word die, like happy in these stitched ones, and then the birthday word die and pair that up I think they just posted recently um a card for their inspiration week this week um 
to their channel doing that. And that looked really cool too. So I also have these gems and I was comparing them to the fancy ones from Stampin' Up. These ones have a little more like gold fleck in them. So I thought that was really cool. And I wanted that to pop with the gold. So um, I think these came in like a peachy cheap kit that I had purchased. Um, and I'm glad that I did. So here I'm just making a bow with ribbon freely at the end of it and then tugging it to where I want it and then just trimming off the end. These scissors that Laura gifted me when she moved from where I live, she was leaving and she decluttered a bunch of crap. Um, Laura from Ink Road Stamps. And she gave me a box, like a tub full of just crafting shit. And those scissors are the best gift I've ever received. I don't even think she knows it. Um, they cut so well and they cut ribbon and just the really, really good ribbon scissors, but they cut, um, everything really. And they've lasted me ever since she left. I don't know when that was. It was a sad day, but it was years ago. So they cut Baker's twine, ribbon, anything you need them to cut. They're awesome. And I don't know where to find them now. I haven't even tried looking. But when these break, I will try to find them again. So I'm just using, I was trying to find my micro dots that I had purchased for the Lawn Fawn Magic Iris die. Uh, they're smaller than the small zots, uh, but I just folded the small ones in half on their own paper sheet and then picked it up with my bow. So that worked fine. And then I decided I wanted to add more of these gems and then I am picking up words I had pre-chosen because I didn't want to sit here and rifle through this thing and have you wait for me. So I pre-chose some words I thought would look good on this thing. The last one I end up hunting around for. Um, but I thought those would look cute tucked under the butterfly. Just enough so you can still read it. And then I think, oh yeah, and then I grabbed the XOXO because I thought that was pretty cute. I should probably save some of these for um, Valentine's cards. I might make some Valentine's memory decks cards. That sounds cute. So I add one more to kind of fill in some space there of the gems. And then I'm just going through my stack of things. I was trying to find like one piece of like just greenery that didn't have flowers on it as well. But I ended up finding uh, like a turquoise little butterfly for like a pop of turquoise in the middle of the pink, which I thought looked really good. So I added him on there and that finishes that up. So thank you for watching the very first episode of Freestyle Friday. And I hope you enjoy these and I hope I can keep doing them. So thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.